the witch is back. Hello, my name is Christy and I am a witch. Today I just want to talk about mental health and magic and why those two things are so important together. A lot of you guys noticed that I went missing for about a year. I stopped posting videos, I wasn't as active on social media or my website, and that was because I was going through a really hard time. There were a couple of situations that were really toxic to me, to my uh, health, my mental health, and even before a pandemic happened, I had a couple of traumatic experiences that I was going through. So this is something that I'm still working on. I'm still going through. I just want to put a really big disclaimer up. I'm not saying that you should replace any uh, professional help, therapy, medication, anything like that. Those all go under the self-care category. So if you need those things, still do those things. So why is mental health so important for magic? It's because you are your most important magical tool. Wands, athames, cauldrons, candles, all of those things don't work without you. Any tools that you have, any items that you acquire, they need your energy in order to work. If you are an artist and you've got paintbrushes, you want to wash your paintbrushes and keep them from getting all crunchy and unable to use them later. You want to keep them nice so you are maintaining your tool. It's important because you want to take care of yourself and take care of your energy because that is your source for magic. So there are just a few tips and topics that I want to touch on and the first thing is to protect yourself. I think that's always the first thing that a witch or a healer or a spiritual practitioner should keep in mind. Protecting yourself and protecting your energy. I found myself in a couple of situations with uh, people that did not have my best interest at heart and uh, I needed to take better care of who I was surrounding myself with and how I was protecting myself if it was a situation that I could not help. And sometimes you can just get yourself out of those situations and then you'll feel better, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Maybe it's a situation, maybe it's a job, maybe it's a family member, uh, whatever the case may be, you can protect yourself and protect your energy magically and it might not make the world of difference if you're still stuck in that situation, but every little bit helps. So you can cleanse and protect your space and yourself. Uh, you can set up wards, do warding spells. You can have crystals or herbs or make spell jars or whatever method speaks to you the most to protect your energy. You can do multiple methods. You can just focus on one method, whatever you feel works best for you. Like I said, it's not necessarily going to be the miracle cure for the situation, but it can help. I need dogs or people won't watch. Okay, dogs are here now. I had a couple friends reach out to me and say, great video needs more dogs. I hear ya. So the next topic that I would like to touch on is actually a big deal to me. And that is, it is okay to take breaks. Your energy might just be burnt out. Whatever it is, whether you have seasonal depression or a situation that is causing problems or you're just burnt out, it is okay to take breaks. It is okay to take some time to maintain your magical tool, your vessel. And the key that I really want to hit here is that does not make you any less of a witch or a healer or a spiritual practitioner, whatever you want to call it, you are still valid. You are still that person as long as you want to be that person. Um, but it is okay if you need to take some time to just play Animal Crossing and chill. <laughs> Some people will find the act of magic or witchcraft healing in itself. Just make sure that you're doing a lot of grounding, that you're finding a good balance and keeping your energy in check. Is it time for a dog swap? Okay, all right, it's time for a dog swap. I know, you're less excited about being in my videos, but people wanna see you. So sometimes you just gotta take some time off, but you don't wanna stop doing the magic. You can combine self-care with your magical workings. You can create some tea rituals or tea spells or coffee, whatever it is that is your jam. You can do bath rituals, uh, shower rituals. Affirmations are actually really great to do when you're struggling. Uh, it is great for just general mental health, but it is basically a spell. 
Creating uh, daily or weekly routines can also help you find a balance that makes you feel that you're in control. Self-care can be a magical ritual. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm back without a dog. Self-care can be a magical ritual, whether it is doing a spell in a tea ritual or just meditating and grounding and working on your energy. Whatever level of self-care you need to do, you can make it magical. And if it's not a magical thing that brings you joy, that's okay. Again, you are maintaining your magical tool. You are bringing your energy back up so that you can use it again. A couple of ways that you can stay active without actually being active with your magical workings in the witchy space you can read a new book or maybe an old book that really spoke to you. Um, I really liked turning back to some old books that inspired me um, and rereading them so that I can kind of feel that inspiration again. Um, audiobooks are another great way you can do listen to them while you're doing laundry or dishes or whatever. Um, podcasts, there are a couple of good witch podcasts out there, I'm sure. Um, you can make a Pinterest board of things that are inspiring to you or things that you want to do when you have your energy back up. And uh, videos, you can watch videos on witchcraft in the witch community. I don't know if I've talked about it here, I know I've talked about it on my blog before, but there are um, communities out there, uh, not sponsored, just a fan, but Pagan and Witches Amino app is actually a great resource for um, seeing what other witches, what other paths, what other practices are out there, um, seeing what other people are doing. You can find a nice community. You can just go through their featured page, see what's happening, uh, what other people are doing in the world, and it's really cool. So the message I really wanted to get across with this video is that it's okay if you're going through something. It's okay if you need to take time. It's okay if you're not doing as much as you would like to be doing. It is normal to struggle sometimes. You are still valid, you are still magical. Just self-care, maintain that energy, bring it back up, do what you gotta do. So yeah, that's the video. It has been absolutely wild to see my subscriber count go up even in my absence. Um, thank you to everyone who has stuck around or found me, um, anyone who has reached out to me to say that my videos have helped. That really inspired me and pushed me to come back. So again, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking. It means so much to me and I will see you guys in the next one.